Redskins fans unite, and uh, yeah, today I really don't have that much to say for today's recap because I probably said it all in last week's recap because in my honest opinion, I watched the same exact game this week that I did last week. Oh, well, well, we weren't up 17 to nothing, and we didn't give up a huge lead, and there weren't all these deep passes, but still. The entire game was just the exact same result. And furthermore, we got Case Keenum playing quarterback, and I'm not sure if it's Case Keenum or if Kirk Cousins is still in a Redskins uniform. Because, like, it, the exact same results that we got under Cousins are happening under Keenum. Have you not know if you've not noticed that yet, take some notes. Because, let's see, where do we begin? Um, yeah, we start off nice and strong, getting, uh, the defense loves to start strong. Yes, they do. Uh, yeah, they get 7 nothing lead. Uh, and of course, the defense starts to buckle a little bit, giving up the touchdown to Dallas to tie it up. And then, oh, they gotta score again and again on five consecutive drives. And, uh, I mean, yeah, obviously that part isn't on Keenum, but the part where, you know, Dallas scores on five straight drives, and out of those five drives that they scored on, I think we probably scored on, what, one of them. Yeah. Because by the time it was, what, 31 to 14? We, and then, of course, yeah, we got to score the garbage time touchdown, just like we always did. When we were down by multiple scores with Kirk Cousins. It is the exact same thing. And, uh, you know, they'll talk about it a lot on TV. And you start to see the complaints are real when people wonder why the hell we didn't fire Minuski in this offseason. We kept, A, we kept Bruce Allen, GM. Two, we kept Jay Gruden, which is more understandable. And we kept the defensive coordinator, Greg Minuski. The three people that the majority of the Redskins fan base wanted gone this starting this season. And uh, I feel like if it, if it continues as the, at this rate, uh, Dwayne Haskins' career is not going to last long in Washington. I'm not saying that he's not going to make it big with another team, but I'm saying that with this staff, they're not going to be able to unlock his full potential once he manages to reach the starting job. I really, I don't even have to break down the game for you guys. You already know what happened. The Dallas Cowboys just did their stupid casual thing that they love to do against us. Just make us, just expose us for how weak human beings we are and like how amateurly minded our coaching philosophies are. I remember back when Jay Gruden promoted Minuski to defensive coordinator and he was like, oh, I love the philosophy he brings to this team, but like, I'm sorry, my voice is dead right now, but there is no philosophy. I don't see any philosophy behind it. He's not, <sighs> granted, we got a nice takeaway with the pick against uh, Dak Prescott, his first against the Redskins in his career, and hopefully not the last. Monte Nicholson on the little tip throw. But that, uh, we still only got, what, one sack? We can, we can never, ever, ever bring down Ezekiel Elliott on first contact. Granted, freaking nobody can, but like, uh, that, that man, I don't care how strong, how big, I don't care what he is. I don't care if he's a freaking bear, like an actual bear. Just like, can we actually bring him down on first contact? Can we actually, like, not make penalties whenever we, or not drop interceptions when we have a chance to make interceptions. Like, yeah, we had the one interception, but we need all the interceptions we can get. We are playing the Dallas Cowboys. 
And what I'm I'm saying that not as if they're the best team in the world, like the New England Patriots. I'm saying that because we're the Redskins and they're the Cowboys. And I said in my last video, I just at least wanted us to show up because I didn't know what to expect. Because Dallas absolutely rolled over the Giants last week. I don't even know if we met my expectations, to be honest, because... Showing up, in my opinion, is doing something more than what we've been doing for the past, forever since Jay Gruden has taken office. And, you know, that's just... Uh, not every game happens the same way, but it feels like it does. Because it's either we blow a lead late in the fourth quarter, we blow a chance to retake the lead... We get a lead and then we never maintain it. Just, I feel like even though those are all different scenarios, they're all like the same thing because they all happen to us one way or another. So, one more thing. Oh, yeah. Well, allow me to mention AP back in the starting lineup. It doesn't even matter who's going to be playing at running back. This Redskins team has lost their running first philosophy under Jay Gruden. That is my absolute, that is like the bane of my existence when it comes to Jay Gruden. Because this team has historically been a running franchise. And not once has he truly emphasized the run. Granted, we find a way to get ourselves down. But we still do not emphasize running the football. Trent Williams has a valid reason for not playing for this team because I want him, as much as I want him back, he does not deserve this. We don't deserve this, as I've said several, several times. And one, yeah, like I said, this one this one thing that I just needed to get on my chest or that, that has culminated up until this point, the Washington Redskins have possibly the lowest ratio, if this were a stat, if, say, a ratio of amount of opportunities taken over total amount of opportunities offered has got to be damn near freaking zero. That's all there is to it, man. All right. Yeah. Damn near freaking zero, you know. We just don't take advantage of our opportunities. We have opportunities to win the game. I'm sure... Fans of other bad teams see this as well, but um, I'm, I'm just telling you from a Skins fan's perspective. And, you know, I haven't seen how this Broncos and Bears game has been going so far, so maybe we'll get our next win next week. If not, I don't even know, man. We, we, we should at least put in Haskins if we don't get a win before week four or week five. Oh, yeah, week five, yeah. That sounds about right, but yeah. I'm going to cut it right now. I have that tendency to drag things on, but anyways, I'll see you guys soon for the preview against the Bears, unless some other big redskin news comes out this week. So yeah, take care.